Hello everyone. Welcome back to Finance Economist. Let's address the shortages and determine if they extend beyond this area. Now, let's delve into the shortages from Walmart, Sam's Club, and Aldi in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Without delay, let's begin with Aldi, where a conspicuous sight awaits us. Widespread limitations persist, especially concerning lettuce. Although the lettuce heads have increased in size, they now exhibit a fluffy texture. Previously, they were uniformly solid, but now they resemble smaller fluffy balls, and we still encounter a three-item restriction. The shortage of lettuce is evident not only in restaurants, but also in supermarkets across the board. Numerous limitations are observed. As for the rest of Aldi, the inventory appears sufficiently stocked, except for certain pasta varieties, particularly the more economical options. Vienna sausages are conspicuously absent due to the recall, which has depleted their availability for those who have stockpiled them. Many individuals had stored a significant quantity of Vienna sausages for an extended duration. However, if you haven't stocked up on them and you're comfortable consuming Vienna sausages, they offer a cost-effective means of acquiring protein. Personally, I consider them one of my favorites among pork products. Despite pork prices purportedly being down, certain bacon varieties continue to face challenges in terms of availability. Hot dogs, on the other hand, are slightly better stocked compared to last week, although they haven't reached full replenishment yet. As you can observe, some of the slots for bacon are still empty. Moving on to fresh beef at Aldi. I noticed a higher number of vacant spots than usual, but this is likely a store-specific restocking issue, so it may not be a major concern. Nonetheless, we like to keep an eye on it. Additionally, there have been repeated instances of frozen chicken being out of stock at Aldi. The potato section has also experienced a significant reduction in size. There is a noticeable absence of certain potato options, with some items missing altogether. At Walmart, I observed a rearrangement where the cat food section had some items missing. Dog food, on the other hand, is relatively better stocked, but the treats for dogs are heavily depleted and inadequately stocked. The primary concern lies with the availability of canned cat food, although there has also been a significant decrease litter in kitty has litter uses supply. beyond cat care, as it can be utilized for chemical absorption and other purposes, particularly the unscented variety, which is essentially clay. It is commonly employed for cleaning up gas spills and similar incidents. Although the stock of canned cat food remains lower than ideal, it seems that one can still find what they need to some extent. In the past few months, I have witnessed numerous instances where this entire section was extremely bare, causing distress among customers who were uncertain about their options. However, it appears that most items in this area now have at least some inventory on the shelves, although some individuals may still encounter difficulties. There is a concern regarding the shortage of laundry detergents. However, artificial creamers, including creamers for coffee, are adequately stocked with the shortage likely being a restocking issue rather than a significant supply problem. Heavy cream and similar products appear to be in better supply compared to previous months. Chocolate milk, on the other hand, has been more challenging to find, with relatively low stock observed in various locations. For instance, both Aldi and Sam's Club lacked chocolate milk. This seems to be a widespread issue affecting multiple stores. Overall, milk availability has improved, but 2% milk is facing some challenges. There are also noticeable gaps in stock for sour cream and sour cream dips, which may indicate a broader issue with sour cream availability. We encourage you to share your observations regarding these products in your local area. Butter and margarine continue to experience slight difficulties, but for the most part you can find the products you need, albeit with some specific varieties encountering supply issues. Eggs are priced at 2.38 per dozen, although prices may vary depending on your location. The cost of eggs is gradually decreasing, and Walmart appears to offer the lowest prices for eggs. Hopefully, this information proves helpful to you. There are some issues with the availability of name-brand oatmeal, although generic oatmeal is also experiencing low stock. However, there are still supplies of oatmeal on the shelves. Certain cereals, particularly larger bulk bags, are becoming harder to find, with more frequent outages compared to the past. The larger bags of sugar are wiped out, but there Crisco is an ample is prominently displayed, but the great value vegetable oil and soybean oil are not as prominently featured. It seems that there is not a significant overall problem with oils, but there is a higher demand for vegetable oils in the production of biodiesel, leading to a lower availability of soybean oils and canola oils. 
This is based on reports I have come across. Moving on to the panic meter, which refers to ramen noodles, it appears to be relatively well stocked. Despite the ongoing panic, there doesn't seem to be a widespread rush on grocery items like ramen noodles. Pasta appears to be relatively well stocked, with only a few minor issues here and there. However, at Aldi, there are more noticeable gaps and limitations in spaghetti sauce availability. It may be necessary to consider different brands or flavors, but the situation is not too severe. Green beans and some other vegetables show a lower stock level, with certain varieties not being restocked. Nonetheless, alternative options are available. Mashed potatoes have made a return to the shelves, which is good news for those who prefer them. Instant mashed potatoes, including buttery individual packages, are also present, although the flavored variations such as garlic or four cheese have been somewhat scarce. Frozen and powdered potatoes are slowly recovering as the potato harvest progresses and processing takes place. Regarding Vienna sausages, the bulk packs are absent at Walmart due to the recall. However, flavored individual packages may still be found. Canned chicken experienced a temporary shortage but has since returned to the shelves. It's unclear whether this was a temporary manufacturing issue. Keystone beef and chicken prices have risen, with a short sale period during which they were briefly underpriced. Other canned meats generally have decent stock levels, although prices continue to increase. Spam is in stock, but generic tuna is in low supply, whereas the name brand Star Tuna remains well stocked. Hot sauces continue to face availability issues, but the situation has improved compared to the previous week. Vinegar, particularly generic white vinegar, is seeing a higher demand, while name brand options may disappear when the demand intensifies. There is a noticeable gap in the availability of the great value brand less abundant dress. compared to what is typically seen on the shelves. However, there doesn't appear to be an issue with peanut butter availability. While there may be fewer generic options, some can still be found with a bit of searching, although larger generic jars may be in shorter supply. If there are any issues with peanut butter or coffee in your area, please provide feedback. Coffee in general seems to be well stocked again. However, there are some shortages in coffee creamers, especially powdered options. If you rely on powdered coffee creamers or are looking to stock up for the long term, be aware that there may be some availability issues, particularly with specialty flavors. An unusual occurrence is the shortage of ice cream cones and sprinkles in the ice cream dessert aisle. Frozen vegetables, particularly in the frozen vegetable cooler, are also experiencing supply issues, with limited stock available. Frozen breads have been problematic for nearly a year, while frozen potatoes are back in stock. At Sam's Club, there are limits on several items, such as eggs and chocolate milk. The availability of 2% milk is also a concern, similar to what was observed at Walmart. The stock of 1% milk is relatively low, but it's unclear if a new pallet needs to be replenished. Please share your observations and experiences with the availability of these items in your area. Thank you for watching.